and with half time approaching Ryan Taylor double the lead a late Jake Jervis penalty sealed the points so Argyle closing the gap on leaders Doncaster to three points of the game in hand but Exeter's long unbeaten run ends at the worst possible place Plymouth three Exeter nil and it's all over at Carroll Road Mark Webber Eventually, after a lot of injury time, Norwich 5, Forest 1, three superb first half goals in eight minutes, set the tone for the chirping canaries. Forest had some possession, but couldn't do anything with it until Ross McCormack got their consolation. They had their captain sent off for a second yellow. Alex Pritchard's second was off the screamer. It typified this game. Norwich on the up. Norwich City 5, Nottingham Forest 1. Yes, I do not rule out Norwich City, Mark Clement. To play all the teams directly above them between now and the end of the season. Hello from me uh, in League One. Great day for Sheffield United. Billy Sharp's 20th goal of the season as his team win 1 0 at Peterborough. And the nearest rival, Scunthorpe United, 26 match unbeaten home run comes to an end at the hands of Shrewsbury. Freddie Lapido's fourth in five games. Eight of the bottom nine in League One played each other. Northampton beat Chesterfield by three goals to one. Berry got only a second win in 25. And Gillingham and Port Vale drew. One all. Great day in League Two for Mansfield. 4 0 winners over Hartlepool. That's six wins in seven for them. And for Crew Alexandra, first win in 12 matches. 5 0 they thrashed Grimsby. And a great day for Morecambe's fans. They saw their team win two goals to nil over Cambridge and they got a free pint and a pie from their manager. Very nice, Mark. Thank you. All of the action from today's Premier League. Game. Going league, uh, Danny Murphy here, right? Ten thirty. Gary joined by Danny Murphy and Ian Wright, and I'll be back with match of the day two. Match of the two, Road Hill and Mike Keel. Providing the expert analysis. BBC Two at ten o'clock. Still to come here on final score interviews and reaction from the Premier League. We are here until five thirty on BBC Two. But first, let's get all of today's results. With my question. Back to these Premier League. Results from the Premier League. Arsenal two, two I'll see Neil. Liverpool, Liverpool against Tottenham Hotspur. Right, the new kick-off at 5.30. Manchester, Manchester United two, two Watford nil. Millsborough nil. Everton nil. Stoke City one, one. Crystal Palace nil. Sunderland nil. Southampton four. And Sam United two. West Brom two. The championship. Nil nil. It's just town one. one. Brighton Albion four. Albion four. Albion one. Derby County three. Bristol City three. Fulham three. We're gonna have two. Blues are nil. Cardiff two. Norwich City five. Norwich City one. Preston Albion two. Brighton Albion four. nil. Town two. Leeds nil. Leeds nil. Rolling is one, Rose Rose one, and we'll have the one, Rose Rose, you can see now, you need to kick off at 530. The Sky Bet League one, the Sky Bet League one, AFC number one, the Charter Bet League 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 one, Nil one, one Southend at nil, Port Vale nil three, Chesterfield nil, Oldham three, C C two, Oldham nil, Peterborough nil, United nil, Sheffield United one, Scunthorpe United nil, Town one, Sky Bradley two, United one, Blue four, United two, Mid one. Rose Hanra 5, Grimsby Town 0, Newtown 2, Newtown 1, Newtown Town 4, Newtown 0, 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 Newtown the Venerama National League. Now we two. Just F C one. Dover one. Forest Green Rivers two. Nil. 
Easily won, easily won. Lincoln, Lincoln C3, three. Wilkin nil. Sutton United nil. Sutton United nil. Sutton United nil. Sutton United nil. Sutton two, nil. Sutton United 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 nil. Sutton Ross County 2, St. Mary 3, Ross County 0, Dundee 1, St. Johnson 0, Patrick Thistle 1. Labrooks Township, Dundee 1, Kilmarnock 1, and St. Mary's Township, Dundee 9 0. East Hamilton, Dundee 1, St. Mary's Township, Dundee 1, Peter Head 1, Ray Rowers 1, Stenhouse Smith 2, the Lovebrook Slade 3 2, Ray Rowers 1, Elgin City 1, Montrose 1, Emily 3, and Stenhouse 2, Barrett Rangers 2, and the Welsh Premier, Green Town 1, the New Saints 0, Kevin Everyone, One match still being played. Bolton Wanderers yes, are leading in yeah, League yeah, One. They yeah, are leading Warsaw by three yeah, goals. So as it stands, Bolton Wanderers third yeah. in the table. Still playing there. The table in the Berkeley's Premier League table. So Chelsea play tomorrow. Tottenham can cut the gap to six points if they could beat Liverpool in the tea time kickoff. Remember, updates on BBC Radio 5 Live. Manchester City in action on Monday. Arsenal have taken advantage. They move up to third. Manchester United's victory sees them rise a place to fifth. Bottom three unchanged. Sunderland, Crystal Palace, Hull City all lost today. Middlesbrough's draw means they are now two points clear of the relegation zone. Leicester City and Swansea City meet tomorrow at the Liberty Stadium. Victory for either side would do their safety hopes a power of good. The Championship. Brighton and Hove Albion return to winning ways. They move back to the top of the Championship for now at least. Newcastle United would reclaim top spot if they win at Molyneux in the evening kickoff. Huddersfield Town up to third, overtaking Reading after their ninth win in 11 Four games. Ahead. Derby County, incredible, came from three goals down to earn a draw, but they are five points off the playoffs. Bottom. United, meanwhile, nine points adrift at the bottom after drawing with fellow relegation rivals Blackburn Rovers. Wigan Athletic remains second from bottom after conceding a 94th minute winner to Fulham. League One. In League One, the leader Sheffield United have increased the gap at the top to five points after winning at Peterborough United. And second place Scunthorpe United, rather surprisingly lost at home to Shrewsbury Town. Bolton Wanderers, Fleetwood Town and Bradford City occupy third, fourth and fifth. Remember, that game at Bolton Wanderers still playing. It's just finished. And Bolton Wanderers have beaten Walsall by four goals to one. Southend United slip out from the playoff places after being beaten by Millwall, who's now moved in. At the bottom, Coventry awesome. City and Chesterfield both suffered defeats today. They lose further ground on the teams above them. Berry beat fellow strugglers Swindon Town, dragging them into the relegation spots in the process. Oldham Athletic moving up to 20th after picking up three very precious points today. The two. In two, Plymouth Argyle keeping the pressure on Doncaster Rovers, just three points behind after taking full advantage of the leaders dropping two points on Friday night. A big gap has now opened up between second and third. Carlisle United now eight points behind. Well. Newport County two points adrift of Lake Laureate at the bottom. But there is breathing space for Notts County. They've gone three points clear of the relegation zone. They're level on points with Accrington Stanley and Cheltenham Town. Well, City remain three points clear of Dagenham and Redbridge at the top of the National League. Forest Green have opened up a three-point advantage over fourth-place Tranmere Rovers. York City 
are off the bottom on goal difference. North Ferriby taking their place in 24th. It's real. Squash yeah. action today, so that meant just one match in the Premiership. Kilmarnock and Dundee drew, which means Killy rise two places to sixth and Dundee move up three spots to seventh. Celtic are an incredible 27 points clear at the top of the table. So let's return then to the Premiership.